Hey guys, what's up? Joe, good morning. Your caffeine, or oh, my caffeine, because I need it. Doing a quick response video here. I started to get more familiar with YouTube, you know, messing around with the polls and adding like uh, posts and all that shit through uh, YouTube and stuff like that. <laughs> In one post, I created kind of like a voting uh, poll and I asked, um, is as if I'm learning DaVinci Resolve, if you guys wanted me to share every little thing that I'm learning about DaVinci Resolve as I'm learning, right? And I asked, you know, yes or no. And I got like a total of 13 votes and everybody said yes, right? I did not get anybody that said no, right? And also in that post, everybody said, I had a, a couple of comments, right? The reason why I wanted to make this video is because I got this comment that I kind of want to respond here. And this is from, uh, see, our new buddy here. And he left a comment saying, maybe break them down and use for short content or other short format tips with a longer video to follow. I'm a noob and editing is one of the things I want to start doing in the future for myself. At the moment, not enough time for another hobby or skill. And he, I guess he wants to make a sad face, right? I wanted to like respond to this uh, comment. This is nothing new. This is something I feel like I mentioned before. And, you know, I brought up the decision that I made that had I got, I got to a point when it came to my career was that, um, I wanted to become a VFX artist. I mentioned this before, right? The thing is that I reached a point where I had to make a decision on where I wanted to continue with my life, right? Meaning that, yeah, I could continue working towards becoming a, a VFX artist and all that stuff, or I can improve my relationship with someone like Paul and be, become a better editor, focus on that, and put the VFX thing on the side, right? When I said that, right, I made a video saying that I stopped, you know, going after my goal of being a VFX artist. And then I focused more on, you know, working with Paul, right? Um, I got a response from someone asking, you know, in a polite manner, if like, if I felt like I was settling, you know, if I gave up something or something like that for, uh, you know, not chasing my dreams or something like that, right? Basically, chasing your passions and your hopes and dreams can be, uh, it's definitely a good motivation, right? But the thing is, because life is, is such chaos in the sense that nothing can go as you plan, that you kind of have to get to a point, or you're going to get to a point where you're going to have to make the decision on what's best for you, right? I wanted to become a VFX artist. That was, I'll see it as my beacon, right? My goal, right? That's pretty much what I was aiming for, right? I was aiming to be a VFX artist. So by doing so, I started to mess around with After Effects. You know, I started to learn how to film. I started to understand how to mix uh, sounds to get sound effects, right? I started to learn how to like, you know, adjust volumes, color correct. You know, that goal of mine of having, uh, being a VFX artist led me to a path where I understood more about, you know, the software that I use and all this stuff, right? Like, and stuff like that, right? However, I, I got to a point where like something came up of uh, working with Paul and because I've been like following this goal in the sense of like being a VFX artist, that has basically got me to a point where I, I was um, skilled enough for Paul to give me a chance to work with them, right? And he's all like, oh, I see what you do. Let's work together. I started working with him. And then like the more I worked with him, I became more passionate to work through with his content, you know, to work with them, you know. Um, and then like that goal, it's not that I gave up on it. It's just like, I guess, think of it as a compass, right? You want to get out of the forest because you don't know where the fuck to go, right? So you're using a compass, you're following it, right? Once you get out of the forest, what are you going to do with the compass? You're going to put it aside because it did its job, right? The compass, in that case, my goal, your dream, whatever that is, just see it as that, as a compass, right? As a goal, it's someone you're heading, getting a direction to get you out of like the forest, right? Once I got out of the forest, meaning like I got out of my, my past work life, which was a construction I was not happy with, now I had an opportunity to actually work with someone like Paul and I have a career, you know, getting a job, getting paid, you know, to make videos and stuff like that. So my compass, my goal, my dream of being a VFX, you know, I put it aside. It's done. I don't need it, right, at the moment. I could pick up the hobby of doing VFX work if I wanted to, but actually I'm at a point now that I'm happy how things are going that basically I don't think about it anymore, right? So anyways, the point I'm trying to get at is that um, if you find yourself that you don't have enough time for any other hobbies or skill, the way how I see it, when someone says something to me like that, is that you're not making it a priority, you know? If this is important for you, if it's something you want to start doing, then, you know, there's no way around it. You kind of have to make a choice. You need to cut some things off, right? Whether, you know, maybe you're not going out on the weekends, you, you come home, even though you're tired from work, you spend a couple of hours learning how to edit, watching tutorials. You got a smartphone, you can start filming, you know, mess around with it, download the software, you know, there's free software you can use, you know, DaVinci, you know, obviously you can use that. It's gonna be a progress, right? But that's what I'm saying, like, what is it that you wanna achieve? Use that as your goal, as your compass to aim for, right? And on the way, you're gonna have to make a choice to like, you know, put a, things aside, right? 
Now, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but uh, when I was really studying to become a filmmaker, I literally for about, shit, I don't know, five years, I think. Uh, I honestly can't remember. It was such a blur, but I literally stopped going out. I stopped going to the movies. I stopped, you know, going to any events. I stopped, you know, celebrating holidays, you know, my birthdays or whatever. You know, I stopped hanging out with like anybody really for the most part. I was really stuck in my room for, the, for years, you know, because, you know, I was so... Well, for the lack of better words, desperate because, you know, I was not happy with my situation at the time, you know. I wasn't happy working in construction and, you know, my living situation was pretty bad. I put everything on hold and focused on a new skill set so I could get the fuck out, you know. Again, my compass. I was in the forest. I was lost, you know. I wanted to become a VFX artist, so I just used that as my compass. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to study to become this so I can get out of the situation I was, that I was in that was not happy, right? Once I got out of that situation, I found a job that I like. I found like a career path that I like. I'm, you know, I'm starting to get paid. I'm making money. You know, things are going good. I'm out of the forest. I can breathe. I can enjoy myself. You know what I'm saying? I'm actually happy. <laughs> so uh, I guess that's the point I'm trying to get at with this video is that like, um, if you don't have any time, if everything is kind of messed up and if you want to learn something that most likely, you know, you mean you need to make something, you have to put some things in order, right? And, you know, that's something that you got to learn to do is basically, you know, if something is really important to you, then there's really no reason why you cannot make time for it and start studying and all that stuff like that. You know, you need to put certain things on hold to achieve your goals, you know, and then that's pretty much, uh, I guess, a test for yourself is that what are you willing to give up more temporarily so you can achieve your goals, you know, uh, you change the life that you want, right? So anyways, uh, that's all I really have to say. Uh, learn to prioritize things and learn when to let go of dreams that you may have right you know just because your dream didn't come true it, uh, it doesn't mean that you failed at life it just means you woke up from your sleep if that makes sense i don't know some deep thought bullshit <laughs> anyways that's all i have to say thanks for hanging out with me for a bit take care and peace